I'm Roger. And I'm Adam. And welcome to another episode of RC Street Shop's Product of the Week. I love this time of the week. So what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about the new Dromeda Vista FPV. Wait, we've already reviewed the Vista. Not the FPV version. Oh, yeah. That, so this has been a long time coming. When, yeah. Uh, yeah. when Dromeda announced the Vista, they announced the Vista and the Vista FPV together. Mm-hmm. Apparently there was some kind of production error or something happened and delayed it until now, which has been almost a full year. Almost. Yeah. Uh, but it, we are glad it's here. We are, it was worth the wait. It is a great product. And we are definitely excited about it. It's orange. Well, we all know that bright orange makes it go faster, right? Or it reminds you of Halloween. That too. And spooky drones. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, essentially, uh, a couple of new color options, but really the big deal is there on the bottom. Right, it's the camera. It's the camera. And what I like about this is that the shock mount isn't this cheap little thing. It's not uh, a piece of foam like on the drone. So, Dromeda, I mean, this is their second go at, a, at sort of this medium-sized quadcopter. Their first one was the Ominous. Ominous. And when they did the FPV version of that, it was sort of an afterthought. Uh, you know, double-sided tape just slapped on there right. to act as a shock absorber. Right. And I mean, it worked. It was no. okay. But this is a much more polished looking. Right. Thing. So when they did the Ominous and the FPV Ominous, they, they engineered them as separate products. Yeah. So you can't go back and forth. The ominous FPV, uh, like you mentioned, the camera's on there with a piece of foam. Uh, it is powered by the board, and it, it the, the app on it really stunk. It didn't, it froze a lot. It didn't really want to connect. It wasn't that great. Uh, the Vista, on the other hand, when it was re-engineered uh, as the successor to the ominous, the Vista was engineered to be uh, one product for both models. So what you have with the Vista is the Vista and the Vista FPV have the same board, same motors, same gears, same props. Everything is the same between them, which means that for you guys who already bought this, and they're like, oh, great, they have an FPV now, there will be a FPV upgrade kit coming out. There's no release date on it, but there is an FPV release, uh, FPV kit coming out for this, yeah. which will allow you to change your Vista into a Vista FPV. And we were so, looking at the controller for the regular Vista, and it even has the camera buttons on it, but yeah. it's not labeled. Yeah, so, so we presume will be on the kit as, you know, you'll get the camera unit, you'll get the bracket that has the shock absorber, you right. Get, the bracket that gets added to hold the phone. And the longer legs. And the longer legs, and uh, you'll be good to go. So you're not going to be missing out, which is right. nice. Because okay. literally, I went through the Vista parts today on, mm-hmm. on our, our thing, and the, now all the Vista parts say Vista slash Vista FPV, okay. except for the two or three parts that are different, yep. like the legs and the bottom of the frame. But anyway, so yeah, do not fret, Vista owners. You can upgrade yours to FPV in the near future. All right. So let's get into this a little bit more, the All product right. itself. You want to talk about what comes in the box? Yeah, and what's, what's in the box? That's the nice thing about the Dromeda is usually they're ready to go, ready yeah. to fly. Everything you require is in the box. Everything from the SD card, SD card reader... Uh, even the double A's, or actually the triple A's for the controller, yep. everything is in there to fly this thing. I think it, it might even come with a little screwdriver. It does, yeah. Screwdriver, extra props. Right. Uh, everything you need. It, it's, a, I mean, that's what's been nice about the drum of the line in general. They just don't have to worry about it, don't have to think about it. Um, yeah. Right. I don't know. They've always been happy with the drama. They've got great products. And like you said, the completeness of it, what you get, is fantastic. Yeah, now, uh, what's the price point on this? This is going to be 149 basically 150 same as the, uh, as the ominous FPV was. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this is a, this is a bargain. You get a lot of good stuff. And what the new thing is, this is the new drone view camera. The new drone view camera is kind yes. of neat. So that's the interesting thing, too, is they're actually making the drone view camera, uh, which is a tactic product, uh, available separately. So the version you get here is designed to be par- you know, powered off of the board as it's flying. The version that you're going to be able, you can buy separately has a lithium polymer battery, like right. a battery in there, so you can recharge it. But it allows you to basically stick it, you know, on an RC car or, or quad that wasn't designed to have FPV. Um, it's it's a nice little package. So if you don't have a Vista but you you want to add that FPV functionality. Doing that, and we're going to do a separate video on that down the road. But mm-hmm. we just wanted you to be aware that it's out there, and it seems to be a product that they're going to be applying to several things that Hobbyco owns the brand of. Right? We assume it looks like yeah. it's something that they're going to use for this stuff, but we don't know that for sure. They haven't told us. Yes. There's no things been said, but 
it looks like, I mean, it's a tactic product, which means they've kind of gone with another line that they carry mm -hmm. and crossed over to other stuff. So it wouldn't surprise yeah. us if you see another drone in the future coming out of that. But that, anyway, um, stuff that's specific to the Vista FPV, yep. they put a 4 gig memory card in it now, so the 2 gig that came with the Ominous. Yep. Uh, and also the controller has this neat little phone holder on it. Yeah. And that's a cool feature. This is way better than the Ominous, because the Ominous had this kind of unwieldy, just, 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 just not comfortable thing that came way out. Right, and it, put, it was, it, it was right. just all very clunky. It, it was very clunky. It was very solid. You, it, would, it would make the, the controller feel funny. This doesn't make the controller feel yeah. too bad. Uh, this is exactly the same controller as on the regular Vista. Uh, so it's just a nicer, yeah. more compact package. It works. It looks yeah. like it works a lot better. Yeah, the only difference is that this already comes mounted on it. So right. uh, that's literally identical in every way, including the, the buttons for picture and video and right. all that. Now we've flown this. The, this flies just yeah, like you, standard. Yeah, as we're does. talking, we're showing you video right now. This is footage that Rod right. captured himself. So it, this isn't really any better than the Ominous was as far as footage goes, but it's not bad. Yeah, yeah not it's horrible. horrible for the price point. Right. You know, if you're looking to really get like high end 1080p, 30 or 60 frames a second, you, you're looking at spending well over the $600 mark before you're getting that in that right. in that kind of time. Right. But for 150 bucks. It's not bad. Right. And it certainly gets your feet wet, and you can certainly capture usable video. Right. This isn't a true FPV product. I mean, it is it's a killer it, it's, lag. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of latency in the video because yeah. of the Wi-Fi, but it is still cool. It's a lot of fun, and like I said, it's a Vista, so it's really durable. Uh, it's and it's a fun flying. This actually flies a lot better than the Ominous. Is. I have an Ominous, Ominous FPV personally, yeah, yeah. and it doesn't fly bad, but it's not exactly aerobatic that the regular Ominous is. Yeah. This, since it's the same copter as the regular Vista, this thing is zooms around quite a bit. Like Even with the simple. camera on it, it is, it's still pretty aerobatic. And if you want to fly around and have fun, you can take the camera off. And that's a key thing. That was the first thing Roger mentioned when he took this out and flew it for the first time. But he turned to me and said, this is still a zippy with the camera than it was without. And, that, and you said that that wasn't the case with the Ominous. Right. When you had the FPV version, felt slow, it felt clunky. So on the Ominous FPV, I think they, they turned the rates down too far because when mm -hmm. you fly the FPV okay. Ominous, it really doesn't, it's just kind of lazy when it moves around, even if you put it into the more aggressive mm -hmm. modes. Yeah. It doesn't really want to get, it doesn't, it's not really that fun to fly. Um, whereas and the, the fun Vista, factor remains here. Right, the Vista's great. Right. The Vista flies, since it's a Vista, and they haven't changed anything in it specific to the FPV other than adding the camera parts, it still flies like the regular yeah. Vista does, which isn't quite as aerobatic as the Ominous, but uh, it's still, a, you know, it, it's a much better copter than, and when I say Ominous, I refer to the regular Ominous, not the FPV. This is still as, as fun to fly as an Ominous yeah. or a regular Vista. So uh, there you go. Uh, if folks want to check this out, where can they do that? RC Street Shop, 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. 90808. There you go. Um, if folks cannot make it here in person, because oh, they are geographically challenged. There is not. They were. But, can they call? They certainly can. How would they do that? Pick up the phone and dial 562-425-9000 right now! There you go. Uh, callers are, uh, operators are standing by. For now, uh, the operators are standing <laughs> by. Right, operators are standing by. Um, we are on social media as well, if you know all that's too much for you. Uh, we are on Twitter, RC Street Shop, all one word. Uh, hit us up there. We post the news and new videos as they come out, you know, mm -hmm. all that. Talk to us there. We're, we're, we're always paying attention. Right. Uh, we're also got Facebook, RC Street Shop, uh, as you know us and love us there. If you like the page, you can keep up on us there instead if that's your cup of tea. But more importantly, we got the YouTube channel. We know you're watching this video because you listen to these words come out of right. our mouth. Go ahead and like the video, but more importantly, subscribe! Hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. And come on in. Come here. We'll let you in on a little secret. You guys have been hitting us up. You're like, how can we buy stuff from you guys? How can we buy stuff from you guys? We're working on the online shop. But as part of working on the online shop, we are currently testing a, a drone sales site. So um, if you're interested, this isn't a hard sell, but we want to let you know that it's out there. It's egdrones.com. DG Drones. Dot David Gilmore Drones dot com dot com. Um, hit the link. You'll, I'm doing something on the screen and post right now to let you know it's there. Hit the link. Head on over. Um, 
and, you know, check it out. See if it's something you like. Right. So if you want a Vista, they're up right now. Right. You can grab one. PG Drones is a very... It is a test bed right now for us to, to work out some kinks and to get the RC Street, sh RC Street Shop site ready. So um, it's active, it's ready, and it's set up for secure purchases online and all of that, which we can't do currently as RC Street Shop. We've had people email and call right. asking if we can sell stuff to them over the phone that way, and unfortunately we can't. But. Right. RC Street Shop is not set up for shipping and things like that, but DT Drones is. So check them out. Like it, explore it, yeah. and soon we'll have something like that for RC Street Shop. Yeah, uh, so a little, little heads up, a little secret for you folks that watch the videos every week. We appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, you know, and thanks for coming so close. Yeah, yeah. All right. You guys are friendly. All right, you know, personal bubble, personal space, and you, you need a foot, so turn the head back. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a video. I think we're done. Let's say goodbye. Bye. Bye.